Okay, I'm going to show you how to burn images on a CD using the Mac. All right, so go ahead and stick a blank CD inside the drive right now. It could be, you know, a DVD-R, uh, CD-RW, whatever you got. Go ahead and stick it in the drive right now. I'm going to go ahead and put my CD in there. There we go. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to load up in the OS. Okay, and you should see a little window that pops up on the screen right now, and it's just telling you that you've inserted a blank CDR or DVD, whatever you put in the drive, and it's going to ask you what you want to do with this disc. Okay, so for action, for this tutorial, make sure Open Finder is selected from the menu right here. Okay, and for the name, we can just go ahead and put a name in here. I'll just put uh, Photo CD, and then after I give it a name, I can go ahead and just click OK, just like that. And we should see the little disc icon open up on the desktop right here. Okay, and after it loads up on the desktop like this, go ahead and double click on it. You should see this just this big white blank area, okay? That is because we don't have any images in the drive uh, prepared to be burned to the CD yet. We must add images to this drive uh, to be burned on a CD. So this is really easy to do. All you have to do is just browse to the folder on your hard drive that contains the images that you want to burn on the CD. It's that easy. I can come in here and just select... Uh, Let's say I have some images on my desktop. I can just click on the desktop right here and open up my Justin folder. And now I can select all the images in that folder by coming up here to going to edit and coming down and selecting all. Okay, or I can just select some by using the mouse and just selecting only just, you know, the images that I want. Or I can click on one and hold down the command key and click on another one and another one and just, you know, select them individually, which ones I want to burn on the CD. But I'm going to actually go ahead and burn all these photos on the CD. So I'm going to come up here to edit and select all, okay? All I have to do now is just click on one and drag it to the drive. Now I can come over here and drag it over here to this drive, or I can come over here and drag it over here in the drive in the finder. It's the same drive. It's the same thing. And just release the mouse. Okay, and right after you do that, you should see the OS start copying the images to that drive. Okay, to that blank CD that you put in the drive. And it's not actually burning the CD yet, it's just preparing the CD uh, and it's gonna show you what's gonna actually be on the CD when you burn it. So I can click on the photo CD uh, drive right here and it's just gonna show me what's gonna be burned on the CD. Okay, so I can keep adding photos to that drive. And if you click on that drive, our blank CD drive, you can see right here, it'll tell you how much space is available. So I can keep adding images and adding photos to that drive as long as I have enough uh, space available on that CD. So that's really cool. And when you're ready to burn the CD, or when you're all ready, go ahead and just click on this little icon next to the drive right here. And it'll ask you how fast you wanna burn the CD and go ahead and make your settings right here. And then go ahead and just uh, you know click the burn button and you're done. Or or you can actually right click on the little disk icon on the desktop and select burn disk from there. Okay, there you go. Now let me show you another way we can actually burn CDs, uh, you know, uh, burn images onto a CD on the Mac. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually just uh, close this out real quick. All right, go ahead and open up iPhoto on the Macintosh. All right. And now when we transfer images from a digital camera to our computer, we use iPhoto. Okay, well, most of us do. And we also we have tons of photos in our photo library, and we can just burn some of these photos to a CD if we want to, okay? Now, I have a lot of photos in here right now. But what we want to do is actually, we don't want to just burn all the photos to the CD that are in the photo library. Let's say you wanted to create your own album. Okay, and only select specific images to be burned or to be placed in that album to be burned on a CD. Well, come right, come right down here and, and click on the little plus symbol, and it'll ask you, uh, you know, give your new album a name. I'll just put uh, photo CD. There we go, and I'll go ahead and click OK, and you'll see it right over here. I'll click on that, and it'll, you know, there's nothing in there right now. All I have to do is drag images to that fo uh, photo CD album. And those images can be in my last imported area or in my photo library area. And so I have a lot of, uh, a lot of images in here. And so I'm probably not going to use or select all the images in this folder. I'm just going to go ahead and just click on one and then hold down the command key on the keyboard and click on another one and another one and another one and just select a few here because I don't want that many photos in my uh, photo CD, I just want a few. So I'm just gonna select this many. And when I have that, all I have to do is click on one of the selected photos and just drag it right over. And you can see when I do this, it actually tells me how many photos I'm dragging. So you can see right there, it says 15.
Okay, so I'm only dragging 15. I, I will be burning 15 photos to this CD from this album here. I'm going to drag it right over to my CD, right, my, my photo CD album right there, and go ahead and release the mouse, and that's it. I'll click on that photo CD album, and I'll see the images right there. And after this, all you have to do is just come right down here and click on burn to burn the CD and you're done. So that is how we can burn images on a CD using the Macintosh. Now you can give it to a friend, give, what, give your CDs to a friend, family members, and they can go ahead and stick the CD in their drive and, and look at it and, and check it out and everything. And so that's really cool. So there you go.